How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to another video. Now to start this video off, I'm going to be showing you guys my transfer list. You guys can see I've sold every single one of the players in my club and ultimately by the end of this video, hopefully I've helped you guys improve your team this season trading or just giving you guys some advice because you guys can see my transfer list right now. I've gone through and sold every single player in my club just because from now until team of the season, which is in about two to three weeks, players are just going to be dropping in price like crazy. A couple days ago, Ronaldo was about 800, 900,000 coins, and he's all the way down to about 750, if lucky. Uh, I managed to sell mine today for about 775. I was a bit late to sell him just because I thought I wanted to hold on to him during the El Clasico, and it was a big mistake, so I have sold him for about 775,000 coins, and uh, he's currently going for about that, and from here on out, it's highly unlikely that he's going to go up in price. He's just going to keep going down, as Messi will too. Uh, Messi started out at about 800,000 coins, I'd like to say, last week, and uh, he's all the way down to 690, 680, and again, he's just going down as well. So if you guys haven't sold your players already, I highly recommend you guys do so right now, because when Team of the Season comes around, you could just rebuy those players for cheaper amounts. I mean, yes, you might be taking a hit right now, player prices might have dropped at the moment, but the market ratio is still there. For example, a couple days ago, I couldn't afford, or sorry, I could afford an Ebra, but it would have cost me... 1.1 million coins for his 95 overall card whereas now I can still afford him but he is about 850,000 coins so the market the ratio it does translate however uh, in order to get back to where you were you might want to be investing when team of the season does come out and I'd recommend doing so basically at the moment I'm just showing you guys some player prices how much they've dropped bail striker bail 1.300 thousand coins 400 thousand coins and he's just dropped tremendously and uh, basically, I'd advise you guys when Team of the Season is released on the day of, that's when you should be buying your players. When everybody's panic selling their players and uh, preparing for a market crash, that's where you want to stoop in. That's when you want to pick up your players. Some cheeky methods I'd recommend during Team of the Season, what I tend to do, is bid and buy squad training cards. Just because you could purchase them for about 800 coins to 1,000 coins and later sell them for about 15, 1,600 Hunter cards are going to be very cheap within the next upcoming weeks and your player attribute cards, plus 10 player attribute cards, are going to be pretty cheap as well. Going up to team of the season, I would recommend, as I said, you guys can see my transfer list, sell all your players as soon as you possibly can. Uh, if you're waiting on them to go back up in price, they're not going to. Uh, that's something I've accumulated uh, in the past three or four years. I've made mistakes with my investing. Uh, when I first started Ultimate Team and this year, I think I'm off to a pretty good start. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video does help you guys. It's been Toxic here and I'm out of here guys. See ya. Peace.